Welcome back to the Outer Circle. I'm Cat, and we're going over to part two today of the uh, newest FAQ uh, for Heresy. Uh, I'm joined here by Rules Boy. Say hello, Rules Boy, once again. Hi, everyone. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm sure they're all well. If they're not, I'm. We wish them the very best. I yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, before we get into part two, we'll go over some comments because we have some comments, obviously. We didn't hit highlight a lot of points. Which I was wrong about some stuff. So let's see what the comments have to say. Uh, another member of the stolen army from the stolen car club. That's in reference to you with your poor death guard getting stolen. That's sad. Yep. It's so common. That's, that's really sad. I really wish they'd FAQ thieves, hey? Um, isn't all of Australia the waste land, waste wasteland? Yes, basically, but there's also city hubs as well, which are wastelands, but you also have to play city fight as well. Uh, <laughs> urban wasteland. The siege terminus was an elite, but they changed it. Look into the first book. They were introduced. Cool. I will get right on that. But since you told me, I don't really need to. So thank you, Flowmuzz. We've got a big description of the grav implant there. Oh, and the Veltrax also gained a linked neural node, which encourages you to not take squadrons of them as if one is grounded. They are all, they all are. Is that, yeah, cool. Yep. So now no more. Not that I came across a lot of uh, three squads of three uh, Veltrax, but I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, there was another one. All right, the Augury Scanner, which is what I wanted to hit on. Dat Shogo said, you know, the Augury Scanner is what it says, replace the last sentence. So, yeah, it just means more than rapid fire and heavy weapons gain the interceptor. The 18 inch is definitely still in fact. Then Derek Ludris, sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong. I, I can, I pronounce and wrong, so, you know. I'm not going to get too, too well with these names. But uh, the final sentence includes the 18-inch range limit. So, Rules Ball, you looked through this. What do you reckon? So, I've got it up in front of me right now. You've got a couple of sentences, then a full stop. Then it goes, models cannot be deployed using the infiltrate special rule within 18 inches of a model with augury scanner. And then the final section goes, enemy models deploying using deep strikes with... Within this range can also be attacked by a unit carrying an augury scanner in the shooting phase, as if they're rapid fire and heavy weapons. Have the, if any, have the interceptor special rule. So it's going to leave us that you still have the 18 inch range, but you're no longer restricted to the rapid fire and heavy. So you still, you reckon, uh, you're still limited to that 18 inch range. Yeah, if it, if it had said last paragraph instead of sentence, then I would have gone with it. Ooh, conjecture there. Because a lot of podcasts are saying it's uh, a lot of people are saying that uh, the 18 inch rule is gone. But yeah, I'd, I'd play it that way. I don't know how you could get over 18 inches. It seems like it'd be very broken. And also, it's only the Astartes um, aspects, right? So this really doesn't. One could argue that it doesn't affect the Mechanicum's ones, uh, and so forth. No, because they all have their own different one, different entries in their own respected books. Yeah, rip. Well, uh, that there are just some comments I'd like I highlighted on. Thanks for everyone. I've read all your comments. I've replied to some of them as well. Um, keep them coming. But now we'll get into the drop pod. The drop party action. Right. Cool. So the Forge World rules clarification for the drop pods of the Horus Heresy version 1.0. Uh, Legion drop pod page 46. Replace the profile of this unit with the one below. So wait a minute. Could we take this Legion drop pod before? Uh, yes. Uh, only if you're right of war or um, army type allowed you to though so i believe that would be the raven guard night lords orbital assault 
and I believe anything that forced you to deep strike your army. Okay, cool. Um, sweet. So it's just the seventh edition. I don't know about eighth edition, but just the Space Marine drop pod from that. So and it was already in Heresy, allegedly. Yep. Cool. So cool. yeah, uh, it's all same stats, same rules. Ready to go. It's just we can now take it as if it was a rhino instead. Yeah, so everyone has access to this. But as yep. long as your uh, right of war and stuff allows drop pods. Um, wow, that's... Uh... Well, a- according to how this is written, we you may be you may be able to see a more in outside of the right to war. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it, it seemed like it was restricted just to them if it allowed to. Now, it looks like we're going to be able to bring them more in our standard lists. Yeah, it's, it works well for an Isvan Phi 5, correction, Isvan 5, a role-playing type thing, so everyone can have the drop pods. But I think it can really break narrative if you just have a, dr- a drop pod army. Um, so once you're, depending on the event, of course, but if your guys are already situated on the ground, but they're always getting picked up, then drop potted again, picked up, drop potted again. And they've got to get these recovery vehicles to pick up these drop pods because they're not like disposable, <laughs> disposable yeah. units. They'd have these recovery vehicles. And it's screwed doing that every time. Um, but, you know, it's it's cool. Uh, I just hope we don't see heaps of a meta change for people who like to uh, get a podium finish just to run drop pods just for the sake of drop pods and now you can um i don't know if you could do it before but you can have a box dread in the drop pod yeah yeah uh, yeah i'm not too sure myself as rarely saw uh box dreads that weren't just deployed in talons anyway yeah cool so well that's that on top of that Uh, then we move down to the Legion Dreadnought Drop Pod. All the same stuff uh, once again, but now you have to get him out, right? He's got to come out of the uh, internal gun. Yeah. It's the impact reactive doors. So it's got some fluff reason there. Uh, no, it's not a fluff reason. It's legitimately the rule. As soon yep. as a Drop Pod is deployed, its doors automatically o- are opened to their full extent. <laughs> All passengers must disembark immediately when the drop pod, when the doors open and no models can embark for the rest of the game. Uh, so people used to just keep their dreadnought in there, right? Yeah, because uh, you used to be able to keep the dreadnought in, uh, and he gained the shrouder, but was still targetable. Uh, so it was more for, I guess, the contempt. The Contemptor, even then, I believe it's a 5-up, so I would say it'd probably be more for the Mortis, which doesn't only have the Involve save on the front arc. Yeah, and the Leviathan's um, got his 4-plus. Yeah, 4-plus all around, so there was no benefit of him staying in there, um, other than if a D-shot hit the uh, drop pod itself. Uh, uh, just saves him from getting hit with it, too. Cool, and it's got those burning rotors. Was that the same same thing as before? Uh, what's Ret- retros, retros, burning retros. Yeah, that's the that grants it the shrouded. Yeah. Um, the new one has the impact reactive doors. That's its new war gear uh, compared to the old entry. Um, and it's lost the special in its unit type. <laughs> hmm. So. Cool. Um. Yeah, big basketball dread. It doesn't seem like it should be any different than the Dreadnought drop pod. I mean, I've seen people put Leviathans in the standard size drop pod just to say it's a Dreadnought drop pod. But Yeah, and I believe there was a, um, a release from Forge World saying that you could use this up until the new model is available. Yeah. But there's no there's no um, difference in between armor stats, hull points, or anything. No, not even any war gear. Maybe they should give it a um, 
some sort of oh wait a minute it's just it doesn't have the combi bolter yeah it doesn't have a combi bolter That's it. <laughs> and it has a larger footprint yeah right so you don't model a a uh, combi bolt on your standard size drop pod, then you can just take it as a dreadnought drop pod, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Um, Anvilus pattern dreadclaw drop pod. So this is the Tinsy one that you see with a lot of Night Lords armies. Yep. With their uh, hunty, um, what is it, the hunt right of war? Hunt? Hunt? No, Terror. Uh, Terror Squad's right of war. They can terror take, assault. Yeah, yeah, they can take Anvil, Anvil's Pattern, Dread Claws, so can uh, Sons of Horus. So is, what is the changes here? I never really used this much. It gained Inertial Guidance System, so it does the scatter to minimum distance instead of just mishap. Right. Uh, so you're guaranteed to land on the table as long as you don't go off the uh, edge. Cool. Uh, dreadnought. Contemptor. Dreadnought. Legion Dreadnought. Legion Contemptor Dreadnought. Contemptor Quarters class. Uh, they've just added the Mortis Dreadnoughts as well to the transport capacity. Oh, well, okay. Yep. Um, Sweet. Yeah, so both the Contemptor variant and the box. And overall, that looks like all of the change. Cool. Yep, uh, Heat Blast is all the same too, so yeah, that's about it. They've just cleared up some extra wording. Nice, so the Death Storm drop pod is here. Wow, there's a lot of drop pods. I didn't realize this many. <laughs> uh, it seems... Which one's this one? A Death Storm? Oh, this is the one with the missiles, right? Yeah, the yep, this is the heavy slot. Cool. Oh, I remember this boy. Okay, so is the it's got the impactive doors, which were a thing anyway, because it just comes down. I used to shoot your stuff and their stuff if it was yeah. closest it, units. Yeah, it didn't have the impact reactive before, so that's been added. Um, but I don't know why you wouldn't open the doors anyway. <laughs> uh, other than that, hasn't really changed. Yep. Cool. Okay. Uh, it's still got ballistic skill two when it drops down, or no? Just storm landing volley. Yeah, uh, I don't know who we're using. It's the these automated weapons, which is the, which it looks like it's lost that, because that was what the ballistic skill two was. Yeah, right, so he just comes down and uses his normal ballistic skill then. Yep. Arrives from reserve, each friendly or enemy, so still shooting your own dudes if, if it scatters or if you decide to place it near your dudes, I guess, uh, which has one or more models within 12 inches of the hull. So for a single shooting attack with the profile listed, the death strong. And she takes a turn, subsequent sound. Yeah, okay. Cool. So yep. it's just doing it at full ballistic skill now rather than ballistic skill 2 or whatever it was. Yep. Cool. So this is the basketball drop plot. Drop yes. Plod, <laughs> drop plod. Oh, my goodness. Um, I was reading a book last night. I forget which one. Uh, it was a Dark Angels short story, and um, he's talking to some governor of a planet, governor general, uh, sorry, uh, president general. I don't know some some free peoples, and and uh, uh, I was like reading it aloud uh, to my partner, and, and uh, it was like a real tense moment of the book, and he's all like, uh, "It's like you do what you want. I've, I've got to go and and basically go into battle and stuff." Uh, and he's, I don't know what he said. I I said booger instead of like calling him like. Um, you're, you're a free man or something? It's like, you're a booger. It was just, yeah, it broke yep. the narrative. It just broke the whole <laughs> tense situation. It was awful. Anyway, the the booger um, basketball drop pod thingy, that is huge. I don't, 
I don't like this thing. It's just so cumbersome and yeah. I see people <laughs> with it and they just like try to put their Death Stars in it. It's just like uh, I don't know, man. Maybe for narrative, but whatever. So has anything yeah. changed to this thing? I'm guessing the heat because uh, it just yeah. flies around the table and is a basketball. Uh, it's gained the deep strike rule. Yeah, that's pretty important. And Fresh. overall, heat blast is exactly the same. That's about it. Um, yep, disembarking's the same. So yeah, that's it. Going up in points, and it's exactly the same points cost. Points cost, uh, ballistic skill, and stats are all the same. Ah, uh, cool. Yep. It's got an independent machine spirit. Okay, I think that that covers the uh, drop pods. So. Hey. Uh, well, let us let us know if you dudes are like just gonna be rocking drop pod meta now in the comments. So uh, now we get on to the final FAQ page, which is the freaking talons of the freaking emperor. <laughs> they did fix a lot of things, but they didn't fix everything. Um, no. So the page two four two. The Talons of the Emperor is a new army faction, and it's fucking, it's broken as fuck. It's still broken, uh, <laughs> and we have good authority. Um, the Outer Circle rules boy from the back this up. He's just, he's a guest. He does his own thing. Um, yes. But Maka, the other host of the show, um, believes, uh, and and he does talk to the heads of the industry that uh, Forge World are very scared if they change the stats of Custodes that people won't buy them. And that's that's why they're, they're not willing to change uh, to, in, to do such huge point increases or change the stats. So that, that but that's, look, I, I don't know, man. I, I think more people from Forge World hate me than they do talk to me. <laughs> um, actually, today, tonight, I think they're going to be doing a live um, well, heresy game on their Twitch that I'm going to watch. I'm going to try and, uh, s well, not stream. I'm going to record it myself. I'm going to be there. So I'm going to put myself in a little and, and kind of critique it so we can upload it to YouTube and hopefully not get a strike. So that should <laughs> be interesting. Um, cool. So getting into it, uh, the... The allies, so allies are considered to be agents of the emperor. Uh, and only take an army with a loyal loyalist. Um, okay, cool. Because yeah, last time, I guess you could have just they were their own thing, right? Yeah, they were the same as uh, just the knights errant, basically. Uh, so they could all benefit do everything they want to, throw them in with whatever Legion squad you wanted, didn't matter. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm surprised you don't have any in your uh, Wolves army. I I do. It's a uh, project which is going on because uh, with the Thousand Sun players, you met we you met at the tournament. Mm-hmm. Event, um, event. It wasn't a tournament. Event, it was event, an event. tournament. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's two different things there. There's, my brain. There's... <laughs> um, yeah, the event. Uh, I'm running. We're doing a uh, Burning of Prospero campaign between us, and I'm slowly building up the forces to match for the battle. So I've got Constantine on the way just because he was there. I've got Janisha Call made and painted, and I've just. Uh, yeah, basically doing that fo whole force, and it's only going to get used for one battle, and then sit on my shelf for the rest of the time. <laughs> Damn, sounds like you should. I don't know. Uh, well, we all wish the Space Wolves luck because screw the Thousand Suns. So Legion exactly. Custodes, uh, Legion Custodes special rule. Uh, per turn, natural skill. Uh, any model with this special rule gains a bonus of plus one of the initiative in the assault phase if their weapon skill is greater than that of the models which they are fighting. Uh, this used to be greater than or equal to. Okay, so, so now it has to be greater than. Yep, so your Praetors and your Champions are going to... It's not really going to affect anymore. Hooray! Uh, Legion Custodes Wargear. 
Um, they're stup- that stupid freaking shield, man. <laughs> so that's that's what this is, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, so it increases the vulnerable save of the bearer by one. Uh, if it was a five, it becomes a four to a maximum of three plus. So everyone puts it on a dude who has four, right? So then they can get a three plus. It also yeah. improve imposes a negative one penalty to hit rolls of opponents who direct their attacks against the model in the assault phase to a maximum of six plus. Uh, a model equipped with this crappy shield, well not crappy, this over overpowered shield, however, cannot use a weapon with the two-handed special rule. Claim the benefit of an additional close combat weapon in the assault phase, or use the increased close combat profile when charging for a guardian spear type weapon. Right, because some people would take that crazy spear that yeah with this boy. Yep. Um, only change is the involve and maximum of a six plus. So I don't. So I don't even think Mind Hell makes it... I think that makes you just weapon skill, ballistic skill one, um, instead of only hitting on sixes. Uh, so before, this would have been an interaction with invisibility while we still had it, uh, so that you couldn't hit them at all. Okay, then. I thought you could not take a spear. I thought you could take a spear. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people take a spear, yeah. though, as well. So did they you, change you that, could, or was it the same? Uh, you could still take the spear uh, both both ways. Oh. Um it was just it was the re-rollable invuln saves before, so it was the four plus re-rollable on your shield captain. Ah, okay, that's five hundred dollar HQ option. Yep. and I'll go. Uh, I'll go over the other bit when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Um, what is, what does that say? That's that Ore striking, Ore striking, R R yep. R E strikes. Cool. Yep. If hey. if you want, I can save you some reading. <laughs> yep, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do the fastest way the, possible. The actual rules itself have not changed. It's copy and paste word for word. It's just the law behind it. That's all that's changed. <laughs> wow. What they need to fix with the law is be, they need to change uh, the amount of dreadnoughts there are because apparently like they're, they're so elite and uncommon in the, the Custodes army, but for some reason, like at the last event, there was um, there was one, one Custos player, which is you know crazy because usually it's at least a third, and <laughs> yeah, he had four freaking dreadnoughts. They didn't use them all in each army list. Uh, one he did. No, sorry, correction. He had five dreadnoughts. <laughs> so yeah, he, he yeah. Apparently they're so so rare that they become common. Anyways, uh, so Legion <laughs> Custodes assault weapons. Any change here to their the power gauntlets and the power talons. So this is like the Terminators, right? Uh, yeah. Or, or the uh, shield captain again. Uh, those uh, who can take those. Uh, why are you on the right page? Okay, so basically same stats except the claw has had a change to it. Ooh. The claw? The gauntlet uh, or the talon? <laughs> I guess that's the talon, right? That's the claw, yes. Oh yeah, the, the talon, yep. Uh, so it's now plus two strength, where it was plus one before, mm-hmm. and it has lost specialist weapon. Oh, okay, crazy. So you'd probably see more claws just added to them. For yeah. This one. But I don't even know. Probably. Yeah, well, it's AP three. It's still just better crap out there. AP three. No the, the strength seven shred now, so. <laughs> Yeah, and and so sad that like if a Legion player had that, it'd be like, wow, holy crap, that's some of the best war here. But in the custodes, it's just like, eh, like, I got better stuff. Yeah. I got better stuff. <laughs> well, I don't need that. That's so so sad. Um, okay, then the their ranged weapons. So this is the uh, they developed hybrid later pattern Imperium bolt weapons. So these are the again dudes that nobody takes. These are the the guys who just have the bolt guns, right? Yeah, the combi weapons. Um, yeah, they. I've played against them. I really like them, and I wish I'd see more of them, uh, just because it just changes up the play style so much. But, again, with this, I believe it's just a 
looks like to me it's just a complete copy and paste from straight out of the book. It is a bold right. one. Apparently they used to be heavy. And there was no way for the uh, the yeah custodes to negate that. They weren't... Um, yeah. So yeah, it was the... But still, it's still three shots. Was heavy, now assault. Yeah, which makes sense. That's, that's yeah. really weird that... Actually, 30 inches. As if they need... This... <laughs> okay. I'm... I'm conflicted you know it's like oh they really didn't they don't need the buff no one's no one's taking these anymore at, at least yeah. it gives an option for custodes players if they want to not take the good crap they, they yeah, can take two two squads of bolters instead which is still freaking good compared to a legion's oh yeah assault 30 <laughs> inches get the hell out of here but anyway cool and what about this disintegration beam the disintegration hell? beam if you ever came across the uh old, uh, what is it, the Imperial Space Marine model, if you ever played against that in 7th edition. Oh, yeah, the limited edition thing. Or their uh, yep. 100th year model or something. Anniversary model, but yeah. Um, nothing changed. Strength 5, AP2, Assault 1, Instant Death, Armor Bay, and gets hot. 12-inch range. So that's copy and paste straight from the other book, mm. from book 7. Okay, cool. Uh, who the hell gets a destruction beam then? Uh, that's their uh, unique bolt gun. The it's exactly that uh, Drastus bolt cal caliber. Oh, it has two fucking profile. Yep, that's their combi weapons. <laughs> oh, good god! <laughs> and that was like, uh, this is so bad. I'm not taking that seriously. Custo plays now. Nah, Custo's on OP at all. Cool man. Um, sweet. <laughs> That's such a jerk move. Anyways, uh, the Custodi Custodi's shield, Legio Custodi's shield, Captain. Has he changed at all? Uh, he has lost access to the Cyber Familiar upgrade. Take that. No plus one for your freaking... Yep. So uh, no no three up re-rollable. <laughs> or the th yeah, the three up re-rolling... Uh, that they were previously, and so now it's a three up with the shield. But no reroll. Yep, Wait. no reroll. Sick. Get wrecked. Take that 190 points. Ridiculously, almost better than a Primark guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my champion is almost 190 points with Paragon Blade. A Paragon yep. Blade, man. He's got three attacks. This dude has five attacks base. The fuck, Eddie. Uh, yep. Just ridiculous. Uh, Veldor, has he changed at all? Okay, this is what I was trying to check up over the uh, the uh, before we started. I was trying to find what Legio Custodes is, what rules it gives them. I can't mm -hmm. find anything. He has lost his preternatural, uh, his preternatural uh, skill. Uh, it's been fleshed out. All of it, his rules have just been fleshed out more. Um, his digital lasers, which used to give him six attacks, is now included in his base profile. Oh, cool. So people won't be like, oh, he gets another attack because it's not a thing. So that's yeah. good. Yep. Uh, what would you get over there? Uh, he had some other stuff as well. I keep opening the wrong tab. Uh, so he had the solidality, or sodality, sorry, uh, which, again, I haven't been able to, I, so he's lost that, sorry. Uh, involuble psyche, inviolable psyche, sorry, and that is about it. He already had crusader, counterattack, precision strikes, precision shots, eternal warrior, independent character, his warlord traits, everything there. So my only thought is that preternatural skill missing from his original uh, profile is possibly under the Legio Custodes title now. But okay. I haven't seen anywhere where that's stated yet. Yeah, right. Um, I think they could, you know, 
give him more special rules. I don't think 10 is good enough, really. <laughs> and maybe if they could like even out the war gear to a solid 10, they just need to give him four more pieces of kit, really. So, yeah, I don't think he's got enough crap, honestly. Um, Legio Custodes Contemptor Achilles Dreadnought. Is this the big boy? Yeah, so this is the um, kind of Leviathan... Um, Esque. <laughs> yeah, Leviathan. Damn it, I keep losing the page. Uh, ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Yeah, so this is a Leviathan Dreadnought that Custodes get, except his weapon skill 6 instead of 5, and yep. initiative 5 instead of 4. Oh, wait a minute, he's only got 3 hole points? That's weird. Okay. Oh no. So this is this one isn't the Levi. This one isn't the oh, Leviathan. This is the... It has the Leviathan stats. Jesus. Ish. Okay. Well, yeah. Excuse me. I. <laughs> you could forgive my ignorance on that because it's just OP AF. Yep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. So this dude is. So you can take the Les Pulsar. So this is the dude with the not the shield and stuff, right? That's not just the normal Contemptor Dreddy, is he? Uh, no, this is the. I believe this is just the regular Contemptor version, or that as as regular as theirs gets. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the spear. The spear boy. Okay, so does he? Yeah. Is, this is the thing with the freaking D weapon, right? The D weapon, yeah, he's got it again. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this yep. is the this is the spear boy that everyone usually takes two or more of. Um, so what's changed with this dude? Uh, his dread spear with the las pulsar has gone up by twenty points, and that's it. Good. Oh no, sorry. Bonus close combats has already been added into his profile cool. as well. That's good. So I think 200 points for something that's doing D attacks in any form yep. is a pretty freaking good deal. And yes. Gee, so yeah, the turn that which the model has charged, the hit rolls of six with this weapon are resolved at destroy his. Didn't it used to be D3 or something? Uh, or maybe... Uh, just uh, uh, That's exactly the same. No, I must have been on drugs or dying or high or something. Cool. <laughs> um, well, uh, yeah, oh, six, it six, used to six, yeah, charge is the same. Yeah, they've just uh, shortened the entry a bit more, but it's exactly the same rules. Okay, so wait a minute. So the additional attack is in the profile, is it? Yes. Cool. So he used to that's, only have three attacks. That's the new statement. Uh, he had four before. Uh -huh. But he'd get the plus one for the close combat weapon and the spear. Right. Yes. So this is where the conjecture comes in, right? So I'm pretty sure the um, back in the day when there used to be um, defilers, they would yep. get a pair of close combat weapon arms. And then you could upgrade them to take an auto cannon off and stuff to have a, another pair of close combat weapons. So that's a total of four arms, two and two. They would generate a plus one attack for each of those arms. Somehow, some freaking yep. how, the, the community decided when you pick up a spear, you grow two more fucking hands. Yeah. What? <laughs> so is that, is, like, sure, justify it how you want, but, yeah, and they're like, I think the way the, uh, a guy I, I played against justified it as, you know, you pick up a spear, you can hit with a spear and then you can punch with your fists as well. I'm like, wow, that's, uh, that's grass and it's straws, man. <laughs> That's not how spears work. <laughs> You're supposed to be at a distance. No, not any spears I work. So is that... That's that's gone, right? Is that... From everything I'm viewing, it says... It doesn't say you... It still doesn't say you can take it in addition. It just says can be equipped with. Uh, so I'm reading it as he's just a flat four base, even when he takes the spear. Because it's just an upgrade to his close combat weapons. Yeah, that's how I'd assume it was anyway. I'm sure that the community will have something to say about it. Yes. <laughs> cool.
cool. Let us know if you are a pro fucking guy who likes to grow extra arms when you pick up a spear, or do you think that the profile that, that should just be four? Or you get your five on the charge, whatever. All right, next uh, Legion Custodes Augmentus Jet Bike Squadron. Any change to these jerks? Okay. Their power lance has been replaced by a power spear. Uh, misery. They've lost Misericordia, that little embellishment thing from the previous FAQ. Ha, take that. They used to have Elastius bolt cannons. They now have Elastrum bolt cannons on their bikes. They used to have a. L uh, they've lost preternatural skill. The sodality. All those same things that I said off of um, Valdor, they've lost. They're just reduced to those three rules Legia Custodes, Deep Strike, Split Fire. So the more I'm seeing this now, I am thinking that those three rules are incorporated under the Custodes rule. Yeah. And. Points increases. 75, 5. The Adrathic Devastator has gone up by 10 points from 5 to 15. Get wrecked. And the Laz Pulsar has gone down 10 points to 25. Uh, sorry, correction. Up 10 points as well to 35. Take that, you freaking jet bike using freaks. Custo jet bike using freaks. Ah, oh, so sick of those jet bikes, man. Looks, I'm looking at their little excerpt box. The Ligia Custodes Griff Falcon pattern jet bike operates under the standard rules for jet bikes. In addition, it increases the rider's toughness by one, and that's already been incorporated. Thank and God. failed charge distances may be re rolled when using the jet bike. Ooh. Where they used to have, so that rule, that part there is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, they removed the sweeping fire rule, which was members of the unit may fire once with each of their weapons in the shooting phase. So the way I've read that, that means they've lost their ability to shoot with the bike weapon and then a weapon that they were holding, if that was the thing. Yeah, right. Well then, I'm happy with the points increase. I'm just so sad that it wasn't like 150 points instead of 15 points in most parts. <laughs> yeah. uh. Well, so did they get rid of that freaking toughness test bolt gun on them? Or no, that was the other one. Oh, they got so many freaking weapons, eh? It's ridiculous. <laughs> So they had the Elastius, yeah. Um, I, I assume so, since the, the they've got the Lastrum Bolt Cannon now as their base. I have a feeling that's the Adrathic Devastator was the actual weapon you're thinking of. Yeah, right. Well, it's good they put more clarity in the jet bike. Sad that they had to do it. Uh, it should have already been a thing. Um, yeah. Legion Custodes, Telemon, Heavy Dread or Not. This is the freaking... <laughs> they're, they're freaking Leviathan. Uh, yeah. I guess counterpart? Kind of? Strength yeah. 9, Jesus. Weapon skill 6, uh, initiative. There we go, attack. Hull points 4, yep, cool. Rear, t mm, rear 12, yeah, nice. Um, yeah, any change to this dude? Okay. Okay, so this is the sword and... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing again. The old one. Uh, Where are you? Telemon heavy boy. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. For 300 points, it's just... That's a freaking auto-include, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah. This one... Was this a... Because this one was the... Should have been the heavy support slot, wasn't it? Yeah, well, if it's a Leviathan, I guess, yeah. counter 
uh, legions, then yeah, he'd be a heavy uh, legion custodian. Yeah. On heavy dreadnought is a heavy support choice for all the talents that Emperor's Army list found in the Horus Heresy book. Seven Infernos. I'm guessing people were probably taking them as troops or some crap, or what was the deal there? That that one I am not sure about. Uh, for some reason, I don't. It's I think its rules are separate to book seven. So oh yes, only of got course. Book seven right, because I think yeah, he came out as a different yeah. That's right, because he came out randomly, and then they had a uh, a PDF. So I guess this just replaces the PDF. Hopefully, I mean they're not great in combat. Um, no. Whereas the the Legion ones are real good in combat because you can get the the cutting claw. Nope. No, never mind. He can take this murderous strike. Weapon. Righty. He's got the melee murderous strike weapon, so that's all he can take, which murderous strike it causes instant death on a wind roll of a six, and any yep. vehicle save against the wound separately to any other wounds that attack him. Yeah, so it's not as good as close combat one as the Leviathan, but still, man, you're getting yeah. more bang for your buck. Legitimately, because he has three freaking weapons, the missile pods and whatever you put on his arms. And some of the stuff, man, is is ridiculous. Yeah. Five, five shots rending, seven, heavy seven, range 48. That, that, and that's, again, it's, it's a... got multiple uh, weapon stats. Like, yep. what what should have a multiple set weapon stats? I, I keep going back to it, but the freaking main battle tank of the legions their auto cannon should have different shells you should have an anti armor shell that yep. i don't know gives it armor bane or something strength 7 with armor bane maybe um and and an anti infantry one which which, which has an explode special yeah. well, a, a shred rule or something with with ap5 or some crap yeah something like that but but no let's let's give it the custodes with range 72 strength 9 ap1 heavy 2 yep uh, Exo shock, sure, and then you, why not? We'll give you an anti anti infantry thing that's range range forty eight, casual forty eight inches with strength seven, AP three, heavy seven, just in case you needed to kill basically most of a squad of uh, of freaking infantry. You know what? You can take two of those guns. Why? Why not? Yep. Yeah. No. Get out of here. Get out what? of here. So I've just gone over the. So they haven't updated the Forge World, uh, the Forge World uh, data card for it yet for Horus Heresy. Oh, data card. You just triggered oh. so many people. I know. Bro. I know, but that was the first thing that came to my head. <laughs> uh, Rip. So, the, uh, basically, the only addition they've made is that the close combat attacks are already included in its profile again for two weapons. Cool. So, no more, I don't know what, what crazy crap freaking Custos players were doing. So and that that's it. That's the last page of that. That is that on top of that. That concludes hey. the the freaking FAQ. Mad. So yeah, that uh are you overall happy with the changes and Yeah, I see most of it being uh, quite good, quite useful. We'll see we'll start seeing some models that we haven't seen before. I'm guessing that'd be more, the champions. More, the more champions. Day. More champions, <laughs> less Less yep. uh, less sniper vets since they're no longer a thing. I think we'll still see vets, man, because the the I think the OPness with it was the melter bombs. It was never really the sniper rounds. You can still yeah. take outflanking melter bomb vets, which is huge. Yeah. Well, like I'm even going. All right, I'm going to take some uh, combi grenade launcher vets uh, with machine killer. So. Because I don't have to bring them as uh, sniper vets anymore. Oh, right. Plus one to armor pen. Eh. Why not? Cool. And, yeah. and your grenades just never run out. Yep. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you could have like, you could do some mad conversions as well. Just get, uh, uh, you know, alternate sculpts with uh, 40 mil bandoliers just all over the models. <laughs> yeah. And that'd be sick. Just this grenade one. Grenadier squads. That'd be sick. Grenadier marine squads. Why not? So, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. It's cool. Um, I've just seen so many people being like, yeah, the the freaking champion with the uh, Paragon Blade's a good choice. It's an okay choice. He's not He's not great. I used one. He's not He's not terrific. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm glad they did do it because it's, 
instead of my a tyrannic greatsword, my dude's rocking a paragon blade now, and that he's got more of a chance to do something. He's still gotten he's got that AP too, so he can actually kill a terminator before he dies. Maybe. But, yeah. He's um, gonna be good for you. He's gonna be slightly better than a Praetor just points wise for a Centurion game, if you're only at the lower end of it. Yeah, it's good to see the the three plus plus three rollables gone. That's that's a great change. It's, yeah, <laughs> still not not game breaking. You're still up against a a huge a powerhouse that you're unlikely to to win against. It's just too much. Uh, unless yeah. the the mission is tailored towards you. So I don't know much about the custers anyway. Um, I really don't like playing them because they are pretty OP. Um, but sure there's nothing really game breaking in the faq they just really yeah giveth and then taketh away so that's cool interesting uh to watch the heresy game on twitch tonight i'm going to be setting up a webcam and when i say that i'm going to be jerry rigging a camera to my computer through crazy wiring but we'll see if I can get that done. So I can live, not live stream, but record me critiquing, I guess, the live stream. And we'll see how it goes. So yeah, thanks very much, uh, Rules Boy, for coming on and going through this yep. with me. Um, hopefully uh, we can do thanks some, for having me. We can do some more crazy, crazy stuff. If you guys want to hear anything from from Rules Boy or, or whatever, got any ideas for what you want to see, uh, let us know down in the comments. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. Let us know if you're going to be uh, throwing out your custodial army because you don't no longer have a 3 plus plus rerollable because, you know, fuck the world, right? Cool. Thanks very much. Uh, catch you all next time. Say bye, rules boy. Let, let say, say goodbye Chat. to people. Catches. Yeah, there you go. See? That's, that's all right.